All right, in this video, I'm going to show the process for creating the splash screen for the game. And first, we'll start with this very rough concept. Uh, ignore the title. That's just placeholder to just have something up there. But originally, when I saw this, I wanted to reject it. I wanted something, I guess, more standard. But eventually, I changed my mind because I like the Overlord and his... Uh, oversized hands and how they're outstretched. I thought that was a good idea. So eventually I decided to go with this. And the next thing that needed to do, be done was mod model this in 3D to get the poses of the character. And that's what I'm gonna show next. So that's over here. So here you can get an idea of the poses for the character. And you can see the Overlord with his outstretched hands. And I'll show a little bit of the trickery. So there he is. He isn't even in the air, uh, on the ground. But that's fine. He'll look like he's on the ground based on the camera. And also everything's kind of uh, faked. So you can see the uh, background over here, right here. Same with the clouds, which are also in game. But it looks like uh, the artist upped the uh, resolution for the screenshot. I don't, uh, I don't have these clouds actually in game with this much tessellation. But it it looks good in in the screenshot, so that's what is important. And he also curved the ground slightly. And now I'll go show the character or the Overlord. So here what matters is the shot so the original model doesn't have hands this big so they were modeled just for the uh for the splash screen and again the texturing since you don't see the back of the or the front of the hands not much time was spent spent there essentially all that was done is they he added some fingers and that was it Enough, enough to get the uh, hands to match something uh, that you see in the concept. And uh, yeah, and a little bit more time was spent with the hands. So that's pretty much how we came up with this. We played around with the scene in 3D and then it was rendered out and a combination of lighting in Maya or whatever 3D tool that the artist had was used first to do the base render. And then it was brought into Photoshop for additional touch-ups. So now I'll just show some of the iterations. So this is the first one we came up with. Again, very rough, just, just to get an idea of what's going on. And I think we just kept, oh, here, I guess the clouds are being changed. We're trying to come up with something. Then, yeah, this was dropped. I thought it was too busy. Then I guess the background was cha changed. Again, playing around with the background. More playing around with the background. Yeah. And then here's the first uh, work in progress. So as you can see, that's a huge a huge change. But again, this is done with a combination of rendering in either 3D, 3D Max or uh, Maya, and then with Photoshop. So uh, already it's taking, uh, it's, you know, it's looking very close to what I wanted. Actually, it's better than what, what I wanted. I actually didn't think it was going to look this good. And then the final shot. So they've changed some colors and move some, change some of the lighting. Yeah, you can see that they've changed the lighting. So this is the final, the f final shot. Oh, it looks like they moved the camera too. Oh, and the sh they changed the shadows and oh, some of the they also changed the pose. That's cool. Did a lot of things that I didn't see before. But anyways, so this is the final shot that you see in the launch screen for the game, and I'll blow it up so that we can see like the whole thing. So yeah, really cool. And the funny thing is um, they got this right the first time. They asked for input and I said, uh, 
no input, just keep going. And again, what I like about this shot is the hands for the overlord. And as you can see, they, they fixed up um, what I showed in the Maya scene. So either they, they paint, I think they just painted that over in Photoshop and did whatever effects were necessary. And they also smoothed out the characters so they have more, uh, so they look like they're more, uh, they have more polygons than the original ones in the 3D scene, which is cool. So I'll put that back to zoom to window. And what else? Oh, I also like that they uh, blurred the background. So that draws you towards the characters. And that's that's essentially what I want. I want you paying attention to the characters. So I was really happy with how this turned out. And again, the I couldn't I love the hands for the overlord. So uh, yeah, it's great all around. So next, I'll just show the launch screen in the game, which is the same one as this one. But it's good to see it in game. And then I'll show a little bit of what I'm working on next. All right, here you can see the launch screen that I showed earlier for the game. And finally, it goes into the uh, main attract screen. So uh, that's uh, all the the uh, all of the launch screen. So uh, a lot of work uh, to just see it for a few seconds, but it was well it's well worth it because of the presentation and how good it looks. So now I'll show a little bit of what I've been working on. It's not complete, and I think that's um, that's a good thing to show because I usually show things that are complete, and so you never really get to see the uh, the process, and it almost always looks like everything works right the first time, and I don't have problems, and that's really far from the truth. Um, since the longest I can remember, the splash screen, yeah, the splash screen is about the only thing I've seen that, uh, you know, it worked right the first time without much in the way of uh, iteration from the artists. We got the poses right. It was very minimal, but let's just show what I'm working on. So this is the character select screen, which I'll do a video of when everything's complete. Uh, you can change some things for the character. So if you want him with a helmet, you can do that. And then he'll have his helmet on the attract screen and in game, or you can just go back. What I did is uh, I finished with background loading. So there's a separate thread that I spin off that loads the characters in the background so that the main character can keep playing and there won't be you know any stutters as I load the additional characters. So I'll do that uh, next. Let's see him do something. Oh, he's doing a little stretch and I think now he'll do a spin, yeah, and then he'll do a jump. Oh, no, he'll just do the uh, Wolf, of, Wolf of Wall Street animation. So there, I did one. So now we have the uh, ninja character. And as you can see, that was, uh, you know, the, the original character uh, kept animating. And then in the background thread, I loaded the ninja character. And then I swapped them out when the thread finished. And that's how I don't block the current animation that's playing and it just you know it just looks more professional no now we'll go to the part where you know everything doesn't work as expected if i tap again so see things are getting messed up already i don't think this is anything to do with the threads i think this is something like with uh, memory pooling that something's going a little a little strange and if i keep going yeah this one's even more messed up so, uh, yeah, this is just to show you that, uh, yeah, I don't get everything right the first time, hardly ever. I usually have uh, things like this to look after. But, uh, yeah, this is, obviously, this is what I'm going to be working on next uh, to fix this. And once I have this fully completed, I'll do a video so that you can see uh, what's going on and how the background threads threading works to get this to uh, load without any pauses. So that's probably what I'll show in the next video uh, for next time. So till then, thanks and bye.